warm weather, a bit of adventure, and some cultural diversions. Scottsdale in the American state of Arizona boasts the perfect combination. It has wonderful spas and recreational facilities and is ideal for a relaxing getaway. Jeep tours will take you off-road into the rugged landscape. You can even get out and explore the fascinating desert environment. Standing next to these saguaro cacti puts their size in perspective. And if you arrive in springtime, Arizona's Sonoran Desert will be in full bloom. There's a marigold for oh, you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Nice. Desert flowers are beautiful, but very little older. They, uh, they attract the bees and the birds and whatever else cross-pollinates them by color mm -hmm. more than by smell. Coop, one of the local guides, is quite the cowboy, full of information on desert flora and fauna. He'll even show you how to cope if you lose your sewing needles. They would take this needle and use the yucca for their thread. With this needle, they could suture wounds or sew their clothing. Look how easy this needle passes through two layers of denim. Of course, the difference between sewing and suturing is how far you hold your pants out away from your leg. You can do both at the same time. I always carry one in my hat. Makes an excellent toothpick. And of course, every cowboy has some tips on what to do if you get lost in the desert and are feeling a little peckish. Them nice Indians said, take out your Zippo. And the meanest cacti in the desert is now a desert pickle. Scottsdale has some of the best resorts in the state. Many of them offer spas, an ideal way to start the day. And you're just going to head through the double doors to the ladies at the next desk. Great, great. Thanks. Enjoy your day. Mm. You have to be very careful of the sun down here in Arizona. It's, it's a very hot sun and um, it can really dehydrate the skin. The resorts offer a long list of activities to choose from. Water aerobics will keep you hopping around the pool and there's always the Arizona favorites, golf and tennis. And again, you're split stepping to stop, find the ball, go get it. Keep it in front, very nice, very nice, good. There you go. And that's just a simple ready position. Looking for some culture? Head to Taliesin West, the Western residence of one of America's favorite architects, designer Frank Lloyd Wright. He came to Arizona in 1937 to escape the cold Wisconsin winters and spent two decades living here in the foothills of the McDowell Mountains. He called his architecture organic. People have written volumes on organic architecture, but to try to really simply sum it up, it's saying don't have your buildings dominate the landscape, have them blend. And as you look around, you'll notice that Taliesin West is absolutely in the brow of the hill. We're not at the bottom, we're not at the top. You nestle it in, and then as a consequence, you have a nice view. The Arizona climate must have been good for his health because he lived to the ripe old age of 92. Today, his home is open to visitors and is still a prestigious school for budding architects. Take the grand tour, including a stop in Frank Lloyd Wright's garden room. In this living room, this is a really good example of that low entryway where he lets you come in and he compresses you with that low ceiling and he's going to turn you around and manipulate you. He's going to reveal the room to you slowly. You can't walk just right in, but once you do, you walk into this larger space which feels bigger by comparison, but in reality, it's really not that large. For the grand finale of your Arizona getaway, be prepared for a very early wake-up call and go hot air ballooning at sunrise. If it's your first experience, you might be a bit nervous on takeoff, but once up in the air, this is a fabulous way to experience the desert. We're almost 2,000 feet above the ground, about 3,500 feet above sea level. The, the base elevation here is 1,500 feet above sea level. And we can see downtown Phoenix off in that direction. 
Don't worry, the landings are smooth, and so is the champagne that follows. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.